Hello, dear aquarists. Welcome to my fish disease case number 146. Yes, already 146 cases I have produced and put on my YouTube channel. And maybe you've seen some previous one. But this one is going to be a special one because it's about a fish which is not very common but much liked by the special aquarium hobbies is about a chocolate gourami, Spherichtis osferomenoides. Well, it's a mouthful of Latin. And this fish usually comes from the wild. And of course, we talk about wild fish like I did in my previous videos. We talk about worm infections. Watch it and see what you think about it when you encounter diseased fish coming from the wild. So I hope my video will tell you what you can look for if you examine fish diseases. So this fish was suffering with an internal worm infection, encapsulated worms. I show you in my videos in this case 146 Spherichtis osfromenoides or the chocolate gourami. And here we see him in the fish tank some are weak, losing their normal color, getting dark, skinny, getting separate, clamping off the fins. Here I show again the presentation in the aquarium. And some look pretty healthy, have little symptoms, eating well, doing well, and swimming normally. Look at this one also clamping here. So these are the fish which are showing there is something going wrong. And here we have the examination. We see the encapsulated metasarcaria. Here we saw a nematode. Here we see more encapsulated worms. And we see the, here the spleen, also in bad condition with Milano macrophage centers. Here we see all the encapsulated metasarcaria. Let me show you again here in the beginning is also a nematode encapsulated. So there are two different kinds. Luckily, they are encapsulated, but still, they took away of healthy tissue. And that healthy tissue, here parts of the liver, are and the metacercaria, well, this is causing a weakening of the fish. Here we see it on the, on the photograph. All here, metacercaria encapsulated. Here is a larger one, which was partially alive, but hardly alive, nearly dead, because... Those worm larvae only live for a certain time. Uh, they only can survive and become a lot big worm when you're eating by a predator, a fish or a bird. Treatment, hardly possible because the medication cannot penetrate into the capsule. So what do we recommend for treatment? Well, those that are wasting away and getting bad conditioning and suffering, you should be putting gentle asleep with a and euthanize with an appropriate product like clove oil or quinaldine or narcomor plus or an other product you can get from your pet shop. Treatment of encapsulated worms is not possible and also most are dead worms anyway. Maybe an antibacterial treatment can be necessary because you could see here that the spleen was in bad condition. Ask your fish doctor that you can try some antibiotics. We would recommend good care, good water, no stress, good fish food that helps the immune system of the fish. Well, I tell that many times because this might help really the fish which have very little incidence of infection to survive much longer and, 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 and do good well and survive well. This is normal common sense in caring for the fish. We would recommend in this case to feed with our Dr. Baslier Bivis Food Forte for at least 20 to 30 days, and meanwhile, no other food. And that helps to develop a good immune system and a better survival of the fish. So some fish might survive with little infection. So books, of course, are available in different languages. The practical guide is available in seven languages. You can find them on our website, basler.com. And this can help you to become a specialist if you... Maybe you want to be specialized, you go to my Patreon channel and become get a special training and get our books to get yourself more acquainted with fish diseases. Well, these videos hopefully help you to 
become a better aquarist and understanding fish diseases and how to diagnose and how to treat. Thank you for watching.